In Samben is usually worn with the baju Melayu, the traditional attire for Malay men. However, many of us are unaware of the meaning behind the different ways to wear the sarong-like clothing attire. Farah Nabila Wazir has the report. Samping is the cloth worn on the belly area covering the stomach up to the knees or slightly below the knees or the mid area of the body. And the men would normally wear them together with Baju Melayu to celebrate a festive occasion, attending a wedding or going to a formal event. Okay, kalau ikut buat masa sekarang ni kita ada dalam belah-belah kata samping. Kita juga ada pajang menyisin, ombak mengalun dan pelbagai lagi lah. Recently, I had the opportunity to learn some of the ways to wear something along with 160 students from all over the country at the National Textile Museum. Sebab kita nak perkenalkan siapa kita, siapa Melayu, apa itu Melayu jati. One of these styles is ikatan pahlawan which expresses the charm of the Malay warriors in the 15th century. Besides looking sharp, this style aims to facilitate the movement of the wearer. Meanwhile, ikatan lingkup is the most common samping style among men due to its simplicity. It is best to be worn during the festive season or formal ceremony. Selalunya just macam kalau lelaki just buka dan lipat-lipat kita ulung. Ini kalau macam waktu raya, lelaki pakai samping dan buat sini mungkin nampak lebih bergaya. Ikatan kembung has always been the go-to style for grooms in Malay weddings. The word kembung or inflate is derived from the inflated effect of the cloth when wearing it. Okay, so wearing a sampin has its own philosophy. For example, if I am a single man, I have to wear my sampin two fingers above my knee, like this. But if I am a married man, I have to wear my sampin two fingers below my knee. The samping time traditions still remain until today. Despite the evolution of the Baju Melayu, it is important to preserve them as they are part of the Malay identity and culture. Supaya mereka um, mengekalkan identiti, identiti kita. Sebab Melayu hanya di Nusantara saja. Kita tidak ada di mana-mana. Ia benda ini diteruskan. Walaupun kecil, tapi besar impaknya. Uh, Farah Nabila Wazir for 7 edition.